Hello everyone. Now in this video we are going to learn how to make a smart display which is controlled by a mobile phone. In this tutorial we learn how to make HTTP server and how to make your own Android application for controlling your project. So let's get started. As you saw in my previous video, whatever I draw in my mobile is display onto the Nokia display. Also I make some button to print an image. There is one text box to send a text to the display. Here I use local HTTP communication between my mobile phone and ESP board. It's a basic HTTP server which sends the data to the specific IP address. In our case, it's a local IP of the ESP board. Before going to the coding part, let's see the hardware connection first. The connection of display with the ESP board is very easy to make. The connections are something like this. Now let's move on to the coding part. Here is the code for our project. First we need to include ESP8266 Wi-Fi library. And this tree library is for our Nokia display. Here I declare string i and text. String i is the data we receive from our mobile. And for text we need to discuss later. Also I declare one, a two integer x and y which is the x and y coordinator of our display. Also declare one character z. Here is the pins of the Nokia display. We just connect. This line starts the server at port 80, which is the default port. This tree array for three different images. For making this array, I will upload a separate video for that. In void setup, I declare string i to blank string and serial begin for serial communication server.begin for starting the server and display for begin is for initializing a Nokia display first disconnect the Wi-Fi here set your hotspot name and password this while loop continue running if ESP is not connected after successful connection, it prints the local IP in serial monitor. Like here, 192.168.43.11 is the local IP of our ESP board. Here I set uh, the contrast for the display and clear the display. Now in wide loop, this code fetch the data from client and store it in string i. If I search for HTTP slash local IP which is 192.168.43.11 slash MJ then string I gives me the data MJ. So for writing on the display we need to send X and Y value of the pixel. So let's assume we request for HTTP slash IP slash 20.5 20.5. Now, here is the uh, here is this for loop. Uh, check the string i. If our string has comma in between, then it assign x value to the uh, before comma and value after comma to the y. So our x and y becomes 20.5 and 20.5. But uh, this two int function convert this string into in uh, convert this float into integer so our x becomes 20 and 20 if you remember we defined z as a character before here z is the first character of our string i now the code start for the nokia display display dot draw pixel x comma y turn the pixel on according to the value of x and y. Let's see in action. When I search for 20,20 20, 
it will turn on the 20 comma 20 pixel on display if we receive first character z at dot then after dot whatever we write is display onto the nokia display for example if we request for dot meet then display will print meet if we receive string i as a clear then it will clear the display and for this below three if condition uh, according to the receive string it will print the bitmap image onto the display like when it uh, receive mj then it will print the amazing mj logo onto the display now let's move on to the application part i am using codular.io for making android application first you need to make an account here i already log into my account so i just open an application and let's see how it's work there is main two part of the application one is the designer and second one is the blog in designer we need to set our application how it's look like or you can see the front end of the application and in the blog we need to set uh, the blocks regarding our application or you can see the back end of the application for sending x and y coordinate i use canvas and ball which gives the x and y pixel when we drag it i add one text box where you need to type your local ip address and some buttons for different actions and add one more text box for sending text now let's see the blocks here i add one block which is take action when canvas one is dragged then it set the url to http slash our ip address which is in the text box 2 then x and y pixel with, with comma in between also canvas 1 draw pixel draw on our mobile screen here i set the accents for every button like when button 1 is click then it's uh, clear the past url and uh, wave one dot url to http slash local ip slash clean then our display will be clean and likewise button 2 it sends less mj button 3 slash boom in and like button 3 slash meet then our last button will send first dot then whatever we write on text box 1 so now let's see this project in action So that's all for this video. Hope that you have enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, please leave it in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Think amazing, be amazing.